Hey guys, Nick here with Tech Core Duo. I'm showing you another Synology video on how to use link aggregation on a Synology. So um, first things first, you need to um, go ahead and add a network cable into both of the network ports on your Synology, um, as long as yours does have them. Um, mine has two, so I went ahead and added both, plugged them into my switch, and what I'm gonna do now is essentially connect them. Um, and what that's gonna do is provide us um, with better throughput, better received, better sent from the Synology itself. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. We'll click, um, we'll log into it. So you guys browse to it, log into it, we'll click control panel. We will then go to network. And then from here, what we wanna do is go to network interface. As you can see, here's LAN one and LAN two. They both get different IP addresses right here, so this is dot .30, this is what, dot .107. What we wanna do is make these two act as one. So what we're gonna do is go to create, create bond. We're gonna click adaptive load balancing. Click next. Both of these will be selected. And from here, you can manually specify what you want your um, a device to be set at, an IP address, subnet mask, gateway. So normally you would pick manual, you would just change this one to whatever you want it to be. But um, normally by default, it will pink, pick the one that you um, have it for. Um, I currently have it set on my router to, to automatically be 30. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for myself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Okay, so it's gonna take some time, probably take a couple minutes just to go through this applying network settings. Um, and then after that, it will require a reboot. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish. Okay guys, so it's just finishing. Um, as you see, it just refreshed for me um, as soon as it was finished. So um, we'll go ahead and click on network interface now. And it says bond. Oh, and we got a system event asking us to restart. So um, from there, we'll click on this dropdown. It's gonna say LAN one, full duplex, LAN two, full duplex, um, IP address, subnet mask, and uh, everything that you need. So from here, just go ahead and give it a reboot, and you're all set. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any comments or like to see any other Synology videos or Windows videos, um, please leave them in the comments below. I'll go ahead and create them. But other than that, have a great day, guys.